Okay, you ready to go? Oh yes, absolutely. Thank you. All right, let's do it. Hi everybody, welcome to Ignite 2021. My name is Steve Dispensa and I lead the product team for Microsoft Endpoint Manager. My name is Ramya Chitrakar and I'm the Director of Engineering for Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Last year in this presentation, we talked about the rapid changes we all went through together to get our organizations running again in the world of the pandemic. We were pushing hard to get back in business, but in the process, we got better together at a lot of things. Distributed collaboration, remote deployment and management, work from multiple locations, and more. The world has changed, and we now believe some of these changes are permanent. For example, 80% of managers now say that they expect to retain some of their flexible work arrangements post-pandemic, and 73% of employees want to retain their flexible work options. But 67% of employees want more in-person collaboration than they've been able to do during the pandemic. The most likely situation is we will end up with a mix, a permanently hybrid workplace. As we've worked through these changes over the past year, we've distilled this new reality into three top-level trends. First, the world has become all hybrid all the time. The hybrid remote workplace, the hybrid physical and virtual devices, and the hybrid work and personal devices that people use to do their work. This change is here to stay. Even once the pandemic recedes, our work lives are going to be changed forever. We've also seen the rise of broad and sophisticated nation-state attacks. The distributed hybrid enterprise has a bigger attack surface than ever, and management plays a key role in helping enterprises protect themselves with a zero-trust security architecture. Finally, cloud transformation has moved into the late majority phase of technology adoption, where we're seeing customers who are often later to move, like highly regulated or government customers, now in the midst of broad cloud deployments. We've seen that tied to a push for more access from mobile and a move away from just email on mobile devices. And these trends work together. Customers demand more flexibility, but they're under more security pressure than ever, and in the midst of massive transformation, they need management tools to be more flexible, more secure, and more reliable than ever. Let's look at each trend in turn and see how Microsoft Endpoint Manager can help you meet these challenges and provide a better experience for your users. Microsoft Endpoint Manager can help you deliver the ultimate hybrid work experience for your end users. We started by beefing up support in Endpoint Manager for information workers, frontline workers, and temporary workers to deliver improved end user experiences through cloud-based deployment and management. We're deepening our management capabilities on Windows. As an example, available now in public preview, we're adding a secure way to provide remote help on Windows devices. As you know, Windows 11, which is built for hybrid work, is now generally available. We help organizations manage their Windows editions side by side through consistent policies and deployment technologies. We're also broadening our support for macOS. Endpoint Manager is expanding the types of apps it can manage on macOS, and we've updated enterprise SSO support to simplify how Mac users authenticate. Organizations are deploying new types of devices to their workers, including Linux desktops. We will soon be able to apply security policies as well as conditional access parameters for these specialized endpoints. For admins managing devices on the front line, we're helping reduce the cost of ownership by adding the ability to remotely locate lost or stolen devices and by adding the ability to rename devices. And speaking of specialized devices, we're introducing the capability to manage and protect Android open source project devices. AOSP is used by embedded devices in lots of FLW applications, and we can't wait to roll this out in public preview this month, starting with RealWare devices. And finally, Endpoint Manager is foundational to setting up permanent, seasonal, or temporary workers with a cloud PC with deployment and management of Windows 365. These are just a few of the developments that demonstrate Endpoint Manager's cross-platform approach. You don't need any other solution to manage your digital estate. Endpoint Manager can do it all. Shifting gears to security, to do zero trust properly in a hybrid world requires airtight security, since every remote endpoint is part of your security perimeter. The spate of recent high visibility security incidents, such as the solar winds breach, reminds us just how critical an integrated holistic security architecture really is. Endpoint management is the key ingredient, ensuring devices are compliant and protecting apps, devices, and operating systems at cloud scale. 
We've been investing heavily in unified endpoint security with deeper integration with Microsoft Defender for endpoints. Today, we're introducing a new way to protect endpoints that are not enrolled in Intune or Configuration Manager by enabling security policies through Endpoint Manager directly to devices with Microsoft Defender for endpoints. This will truly unify your device configuration, management, and security into one control plane. We're also rolling out SSL certificate pinning in Teams to stop network-based man-in-the-middle attacks before they can get started. Conditional access, powered by Endpoint Manager, is the foundation of a zero-trust security architecture for Microsoft 365. And with these innovations, it's never been easier to protect your enterprise. Finally, one of the most important changes for management is that cloud connection has gone mainstream. Tons of organizations deployed Configuration Manager Gateway, and we're nearing 40% of all Windows devices are now managed using the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Cloud Console. With Windows 11, we've enabled more than 1,400 new MDM settings, so you can move off of legacy group policy management and into the cloud. For example, we recently introduced Settings Catalog, which makes policy assignment easier than ever, and best of all, it supports new policies as they're added by the underlying products in real time. We're delivering improved business resiliency with Autopilot for Windows and new cloud-managed update capabilities to simplify and scale Windows deployment. To help organizations assess Windows 11 readiness, we've introduced a new Endpoint Analytics report so it's easy to prepare your workforce to work from anywhere. Endpoint Analytics already covers tens of millions of devices. When organizations cloud-enable their Endpoint estate, Endpoint Manager provides insights into device performance and health to help employees stay productive. Our Endpoint Manager partners, such as Lenovo and Dell, also help customers maximize their management investments. For example, Lenovo Deployment Assistant further simplifies administrator workloads with automation, and Lenovo Manageability Commander helps manage IoT devices so organizations can migrate to the cloud at their own pace. Okay, that's just a taste of some of the great work we've been doing in Endpoint Manager, but since seeing is believing, let me hand off to Ramya for some show and tell. Take it away, Ramya. Thank you, Steve. I'm excited to showcase the amazing capabilities our teams have been busy building to best enable you in this hybrid world of work through cloud connection when you most need it, build resiliency and solidify your security posture. As always, we have a rapid fire series of demos. Are you ready? Let's get right into it. First up, we are thrilled to announce that Microsoft Endpoint Manager will be supporting the management of Linux devices in partnership with Azure Active Directory and Microsoft Edge. We have heard from our customers who have engineers and developers that use Linux desktops as their primary workstations. You can now leverage compliance policies, device configurations, and reporting to manage these desktops. You can layer in conditional access to protect your Microsoft 365 web applications on these devices. Now let's take a look at their Linux experience. Jamie is a developer at Contoso and wants to be able to use their Linux device at work. Here, they're attempting to gain access to Teams through Microsoft Edge. Because their organization requires them to be enrolled, we see they are blocked by conditional access and prompted to start the enrollment process. Following the guidance on that page, Jamie will be directed to download the Intune agent on their device. Once Jamie has the Intune agent downloaded, they will authenticate. After that, the Intune agent will guide Jamie through the rest of the enrollment experience. Once Jamie elects to begin the enrollment process, the agent will show some information about privacy, Jamie acknowledges the notice, and then Intune service will kick off registering the device with Azure Active Directory. Once the registration part of the enrollment process is complete, a compliance evaluation check will begin. At this point, Jamie's device settings are evaluated against the compliance policies their admin has targeted to them. If Jamie's device is not compliant, they will be shown reasons for this and guidance for how to remediate. Once all the compliance issues are resolved, enrollment is complete. Jamie can go back to Teams and gain access successfully. With these capabilities, IT admins are able to enable their Linux users to be as productive and secure as possible on the devices of their choice. We have a lot more planned for Linux. We are just getting started. Visit this site to provide feedback, request features, and sign up for the private preview. 
At the last Ignite, we talked about how we are investing heavily in the productivity solutions for frontline workers who are a critical part of your organizations. Across Microsoft, a wide range of groups, including Endpoint Manager, Azure Active Directory, and Teams are working hard to add more product capabilities that IT customers need when managing a fleet of devices used by frontline workers. What you can expect from us is a solution that is simple to manage, secure by default, and one which enables workers to be productive almost instantly. Android-based devices without Google services are common for specialized devices used by frontline roles across manufacturing, construction, retail, etc. Wearable and other purpose-built devices like Realware are very popular. These devices often ship with non-Google Android as the OS. Customers want to manage these devices with Endpoint Manager and provide the same secure productive experience on them that they do with Google-enabled devices. I'm excited to announce that Endpoint Manager is enabling enrollment and management of these devices, starting with Realware as the launch partner. Are you ready for a really cool demo? This is really cool. Hang on, I'm gonna try this on. All right. It's really adjustable, actually. Easy to fit. Yeah, yeah. how Very cool, cool. Is that? Oh, wait, yeah. I see you have a hard hat. Do I need that too? Yes. All right, here, help me out. Steve, it's a hard hat. Come on. <laughs> Okay. So okay, let me help you. Let me help you. There you go. There you go. All right, wow. perfect. Great. How cool. Now, is that? how do I use it? Steve, clearly we know how to manage these devices, but when it comes to actually using them in the real world, we have no clue. <laughs> we have no clue. Steve is a solutions architect at Alpine Ski House, responsible for setting up a fleet of Android devices to be shared between machine technicians. To increase productivity of their users, Alpine Ski House leverages Realware headsets. Since these devices cannot connect to Google mobile services, Steve leverages Microsoft Endpoint Manager's Android open source project, that is AOSP enrollment. Steve configures these devices to enroll with AAD's shared devices mode. These devices use a QR code to enroll into Intune and registered with AAD. This provides a single sign-on and sign-out experience across participating apps. This allows Steve to enforce Intune compliance policies to use conditional access rules for each end user, leaving Steve confident that Alpine Ski House's data is secured. After enrolling, policy will apply within minutes and the device will be ready for the first user to sign in to Teams. Next, Ryan is a machine technician at Alpine Ski House. Ryan puts on his Realware headset when he begins his shift to maintain the chairlifts and magic carpets at the mountain resort. Ryan launches Teams, which he uses to stay productive during his shift with a plethora of frontline worker features that Teams supports. Because Ryan is working from a compliant device, he is able to successfully gain access. If his device were not compliant, he would have been blocked by conditional access policies until the compliance issues were corrected. When Ryan's shift ends, he easily logs out of Teams and puts his headset in the charging bay so the next worker is ready to pick it up and sign in when their shift ends. What you saw was conditional access, data loss prevention, that is security and productivity features for your frontline workers. Last time, I showed you how we enabled this flow on shared devices, but it was for devices that connected to Google mobile services. This time, we're bringing you the same functionality, but on non-Google Android platforms. We are pleased to announce the public preview of this feature. Check out more here, and more about our frontline worker investments on these websites. Now that brings us to Apple device management. I'm quite excited to show you this first demo because we know it has been a big ask for many customers. Over the past year, I have been posting about all the great new features that we have been releasing. We are committed to providing you the capabilities you need to manage your Mac OS devices, and what better way to show that than with our new support for DMG app deployments. The new Mac OS app type in Microsoft Endpoint Manager enables you to add DMG applications directly to the portal without having to use the Intune app wrapping tool. Let's start with an example by selecting the Mac OS app type option. 
Here, in the App Information tab, we'll specify our DMG file. For this example, we'll use the Minecraft Education DMG. Also, under the App Information tab, we have additional fields and the Ignore App Version setting, which, similar to the Line of Business apps, prevents the accidental downgrade of applications that have auto-update capabilities. This is a newly enrolled macOS device that shows that it's in compliance and has the Intune Management Agent installed. And without any interaction required from the user, you see the DMG is mounted and installed to the applications directory. We are starting with required DMG installs, PKGs, and available DMG apps will soon follow. Now, earlier this year, we announced that Setup Assistant Modern Auth was generally available. It provides a great out-of-the-box experience for users setting up their devices with AAD credentials provided right in the operating system's UI. One piece of feedback we heard from our customers was the requirement to finish device registration in the company portal app was confusing and felt like an extraneous experience for their end users. We agreed with that feedback and want to provide our users with the fastest path to being productive. While conditional access requires both an AAD device registration and an Intune device enrollment, we are happy to announce that it will no longer require the company portal. Let's take a look at this flow. The device has already been enrolled using the recently GA'd Setup Assistant Modern Auth. The apps, in this case Teams, Outlook, the Authenticator app, have already been deployed automatically to the device, and the user is ready to be productive and wants to use Teams. The user launches Teams, just as they do in our existing flow. They enter their username and password. Right now, your user would have been stopped. They would have been redirected to the company portal app. They would have to complete the device registration steps. They would then have to go back to the Teams app, authenticate again, and finally have access. Now, do you notice anything missing? There is no redirect to the company portal. The AAD registration is complete. There is no jumping between apps no multiple authentication prompts. User is able to quickly be productive on Teams. So not only did the AAD registration happen, but we're using the single sign-on plugin here, and so SSO is now established across the device. Other Office applications, Safari, etc. Any application that uses the SSO extension is now able to take benefit of this. To really internalize the evolution of that experience, let me show you the before and after view of the end user experience. Just take a look at that. A picture speaks a thousand words. As you can see, we have heavily invested in the simplification of end user experience. Setup Assistant Modern Auth is the current and future way for users to enroll with automated device enrollment. Company portal app in single amp mode is no longer supported and you need to make the switch. We will soon also release this just-in-time AAD registration that we just showed you. Both features combined will provide users with a quick and stable method to enroll their corporate Apple devices. Here are some resources to learn more about these features. We believe that it is critical for our IT pros and security admins to work together to provide the necessary protections required for modern enterprises. A core component of that protection is simplified security management. Microsoft Endpoint Manager is the leader in device management, and we provide an unparalleled device management experience. We have heard from enterprises that there are a set of devices that are not able to get the benefits of Endpoint Manager for various operational reasons. Now, these devices, Windows servers, for instance, are protected and secured by Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. With this in mind, we have built a new security management experience that allows our Defender for Endpoint clients to receive policy directly from Endpoint Manager without requiring device enrollment. 
Let's take a look at how this works. Julie has some light setup to do in Endpoint Manager. She navigates to Endpoint Security, set up Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, and she will enable the toggle at the top of the page for allow Microsoft Defender for Endpoint to enforce Endpoint Security configurations. This allows MDE devices to check directly in with Microsoft Endpoint Manager and receive security policies. Now that she has completed all the necessary tenant configuration steps, she can create policies just as she has done for any other device in Endpoint Manager. Lastly, she can flip over to the All Devices pane and see her MDE devices coexisting with all the other devices in Endpoint Manager. She sees the devices that are managed by Intune, Config Manager, Co-Managed, and finally, the MDE devices all on the same surface. With this new capability, Defender for Endpoint clients not managed by Endpoint Manager create a trust with Azure Active Directory and then are able to receive security management policies. You can see them in the Endpoint Manager console, and now you have a single surface for configuration management. We are pleased to announce the public preview of this feature at Ignite. Do give it a try. For more information about this feature and other security management features, go to this website. Now, this past year has dramatically transformed how organizations work. To help you with your transition to a hybrid world, Endpoint Analytics can directly help your organization unlock a productive and connected workforce with a great end user experience. We know this hybrid transition might be hard, and we want to help you by providing an analysis of where your organization is at, as well as the next best actions you can take with your modern management journey with the Work From Anywhere report. This report provides insights and recommendations across four pillars, including Windows, Cloud Identity, Cloud Management, and Cloud Provisioning. Let's take a look at it. Let's start with what's probably top of mind for everyone right now, Windows 11. Endpoint Analytics is the easiest way for you to quickly identify which of your devices meet the minimum system requirements for Windows 11. And for devices that don't, we help you identify the specific blockers, whether it is system firmware, the CPU family, a different hardware requirement, or some combination of multiple. Let's take a closer look at cloud management here. We help you understand and take advantage of your existing investments to modernize the user experience, no matter where you are in your cloud management journey. Whether you're tenant attached and using the Cloud Console, co-managed or Intune only, Endpoint Analytics can help you take advantage of all the benefits the management types have to offer. These insights we talked about in the Work From Anywhere report, along with our additional reports in Endpoint Analytics, are essential to having a productive hybrid workforce. Here are some resources to learn more. Next, I want to talk about another feature we are really excited about, remote help. Remote help allows customers to provide enterprise-level support to their end users on Windows wherever they are. It includes capabilities like role-based access control, elevation, session reports, and ties into our Microsoft 365 compliance story. Let's take a look at how that works. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I can't figure this out. I think it's because you use Emacs. <laughs> no. Good guess. No, no, I'm actually stuck and I need help. You know, we just released remote help. I think we should try that out. That is a great idea. Endpoint manager and remote help. Let's give it a shot. Let's do it. Alan, a program manager, receives notification on his laptop and doesn't understand how to resolve it. So he contacts his help desk, Daniela, a senior support engineer who is going to help Alan resolve his notification using remote help. To connect to the session, Daniela shares a security code with Alan to enter under get help. Daniela validates that she's connecting to the right person, Alan, sees that he's a program manager and is part of the same organization. 
Since Daniela has permission to request full control of Alan's device, she requests that and takes over Alan's device. Alan verifies that he is connecting to Daniela, that she is a senior support engineer, part of the same organization, and clicks allow. Daniela determines that the device isn't compliant because it's not encrypted. She helps Alan resolve this issue through remote help by helping him encrypt his device and be compliant with this policy. She can check in the endpoint manager console to see that the device is now compliant and the issue is resolved. Using Microsoft Endpoint Manager and remote help, we see how quickly employees are unblocked and are able to get back to what is most important. We are pleased to announce the public preview of remote help. Learn more at this website. Last but not the least, we announced the public preview of Microsoft 365 Lighthouse at Inspire earlier this year. A very exciting and proud moment for all of us. Lighthouse is a platform for managed service providers to secure and manage devices, data, and users at a large scale for small and medium businesses who are using Microsoft Business Premium or Microsoft 365 E3. We have added a bunch of new capabilities to Lighthouse since the last time. Let's take a look at some of them. We have a brand new tenant in this case who we want to set up for success so they have the minimum security requirements to be protected. With Microsoft 365 Lighthouse, our partners are provided with a set of best practices that we call default baseline that can be applied to the tenant. Today, you can see six deployment steps across identity and devices under the default baseline. Let's start with the require MFA for users deployment step from the default baseline. You can learn more about this deployment step on the description as well as its user impact to your tenant. You can update the action status plan for this step, share it with others through email or by copying the link. To learn exactly what's being applied to your tenant, click on the process to open the flyer to see the configuration settings. Click on review and apply here so you can edit the assignments. You can create the deployment step without assignments, edit inclusions, or by default assign it to all users. Click apply to protect your tenant with this deployment step from the default baseline. We want to thank our MSPs who have helped participate in our public preview and given us great feedback. We continue to invest as we head towards our GA. To learn more about Lighthouse, go to this website. That was quite the rapid fire round of demos, wasn't it? Just like I had promised. But we know you love these. And to think this is just a glimpse of what our teams have in store for you. With that, I will hand it right back to you, Steve. Wow, that was an amazing set of demos. Thanks, Ramya. And on behalf of both of us, we're so proud of the teams that worked so hard to put all that together. That's about all the time we have, but I wanted to leave you with a couple of things to do next. First, if you haven't done so already, join the millions of users already using Windows 11. It's designed to run side by side with Windows 10 and Endpoint Manager, so it's easy to start taking it for a spin. Second, go and get your Configuration Manager sites cloud connected and start taking advantage of the Cloud Console. The great reporting and security management capabilities are just the start of what's possible with the Cloud Console. Finally, check out these other great Ignite talks, including several deep dives on other Endpoint Manager topics. Thank you for joining us today and have a fantastic Ignite 2021. We've experienced some major changes in the last year, especially in the workforce. We moved to hybrid environments. We've moved to remote environments. We've learned to enjoy content on a variety of different platforms, and that includes Microsoft Ignite. Hi, I'm Jessica Feku, Security Product Marketing Manager here at Microsoft. You've just joined Microsoft Partner Director of Engineering, Ramya Chitrakar, and Microsoft's Vice President of Enterprise Management, Steve Dispensa, talk through building business resiliency and augmenting your security posture with Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Learn more about how you can accelerate your digital transformation. Stick around with General Manager Aleem Rayani in Breakout Session 251, as he helps you understand how to maintain and manage your compliance posture by sharing his five steps for building a secure workplace. If you have any questions about the products, the news or announcements that you've heard today, 
Check out the Connection Zone, where you can connect with any of our subject matter experts in an Ask the Expert session. If you missed any of today's sessions, they're available on demand. Check out aka.ms slash msignite21 underscore security forward slash on demand. We want to hear from you. Share your feedback with us by participating in a product roundtable. Be sure to stay up to date with all of the latest news and announcements surrounding Microsoft security by visiting www.microsoft.com forward slash security or follow us on social at MSFT security on Twitter or Microsoft security on LinkedIn. If you've enjoyed these sessions, be sure to join us tomorrow for an action packed agenda on day two of Microsoft Ignite. We kick off the morning with the industry's leading cybersecurity experts in into focus security. And then we take a deeper dive into the future of security with thought leadership breakout sessions. You won't want to miss this. Stay tuned for what's ahead and enjoy the rest of Microsoft Ignite.